Today, we're honored to have Katie Tenenbaum, a women's skeleton racer and a sole athlete representing the U.S. Virgin Islands in the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Katie Tenenbaum started competing as a professional skeleton racer around a decade ago. After years of preparation, she finally made it to the Beijing Winter Olympics. However, her first Olympic experience was a bit bumpy and special. She was tested positive for the COVID-19 and had to be quarantined and pulled out of the opening ceremony. You put a video on your social media that your teammate video called you during the opening ceremony, you wish you were supposed to be the national flag bearer. And unfortunately, you were in isolation at that time. And what was in your mind at the moment? Oh, I was, I was really emotional. I wasn't expecting it. I was in isolation and I was watching it on TV and I knew that the Virgin Islands were about to come out. And then my phone rang and it was my coach and it was a video call. And they told me that this was for me and that we wouldn't be here without me. And they thanked me and then they um, kept the phone on the whole time as they walked through the opening ceremonies. And I was, I was moved, I was in tears. It was really hard, uh, but to me, it was most important that at least somebody was there to represent the Virgin Islands, even if it couldn't be me. I want to say congratulations to you, you know, for eventually competing um, in the Olympics and in the women's skeleton after so many obstacles. And how do you feel right now? Um, I am relieved. It was it was this kind of big emotional roller coaster. So I am relieved that it's all over the way everything went. You know, it's definitely not the way that you envision your Olympic experience going. But um, I am really fortunate that in the end I was able to compete. And what do you think about this COVID-19 um, prevention measures this time in Beijing? I think that they were really strict, but they were doing what they needed to do to keep everybody there safe. Yeah. And how did being an Olympian mean to you? It feels really good. I mean, it's something that you work really hard for as an athlete in Olympic sport for so long. And people recognize, and that's something that you carry with you for the rest of your life. You know, once you're an Olympian, you're always an Olympian. What were your impressions of the venues and the Olympic Village this time? All of the venues were really nice. The the slide, the National Sliding Center where the skeleton track is, is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's, the facility is beautiful. And then just all of the parts that you might not even see on TV, the warm up areas and the, the changing rooms and the locker rooms. And I mean, the whole facility is like one of the best that I've ever seen. And, and the track was really beautiful and they did such a good job making the ice really great for us. And uh, it's definitely a venue that I would love to come back to. What's your plan for the future? I was so focused on February of 2022 for so long, so I haven't really made any definitive decisions about the future. And I think I'll um, take some time now and then make that decision with my coaches and um, and my family and kind of see where where I go from here. So anyone that looks at it and says, oh, that looks really fun, I'd love to try it. I really encourage them to try it. I say, if you think it looks really fun, then, then you should try it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.